Hello, my friends. Kevin, the comic doctor, coming to you with a live claim sale. That's right. Finally doing it. I've been saying it for a long time. I finally got off my rear end and I put a claim sale together. And the way I wanted to structure this, I wanted to invite people individually uh, into my studio. Well, you know, via, you know, uh, Wi-Fi or whatever, or, or wirelessly and do the sale that way. So um, if, if you are, uh, if you, I'm sure you've heard about uh, this over the last few days, I've been promoting it. So hopefully you're here to look at some amazing books. I invited Tony Iedzi over. He's a, a local uh, comic collector and a buddy of mine. And he, he does a lot of acclaim sales over on Instagram, but I thought he'd be a great guy to start this YouTube one out. So uh, um, before we int we meet Tony though, let me show you how, what's going on with this sale. Cause you know, every sale has to have rules and policies and all those types of things. So I thought I'd go over it uh, really quick with you. So you kind of know what we're looking for if you decide you want to bid. And by the way, if you want to bid, uh, you have to be a part of the chat. To be a part of the chat, you have to subscribe to the Comic Doctor channel. So you've done so already, hit that subscribe button so you can take part in this, uh, this sale. I probably will not be conversing too much with people over in the chat today. I'll, of course, talk to people as you come in here and there. But I'm going to keep track of people if they decide they want to buy. So the conversations might be kind of, you know haphazard. Anyways, let's go over and look at this page here I've created. So essentially, it's a live sale. It's not an auction. It's a sale. Tony's going to have a sale prices on his comic books. Um, he'll probably give you an approximate grade. I'm sure he'll have uh, some slab books. He's I heard, Actually, he told me there's going to be some pretty awesome <laughs> key books being displayed today. So stick around for those. Uh, also some raw books as well. But essentially, it's uh, for U.S. buyers... Uh, you pay using PayPal. For Canadian buyers, you can use PayPal or electric uh, or e-transfer through your bank. Now, all Tony always uh, does his sales in USD. If I bring other people on the show in future, you choose what you want. Maybe you're going to want it in CAD, but Tony prefers USD. It's his It's his showcase. That's the way it's going to be. Uh, and you want to remit payment. If you decide you want to pay a, uh, buy a book, all you got to say is, claim and claim and the book title that you want first person to say it in the chat will get it okay so if you want it you can also make offers by the way this is we're not uh you know we're not that uh mean here you can of course make offers if you so uh, you, they may not be accepted but you could of course make offers and if tony agrees uh then you can we, we can say it's yours and you can claim it um so we expect pay or tony expects payment within 24 hours uh and his email is right there tony at iedzi.net and once the money has been received, Tony will send out books for a $20 flat rate. Whether you buy one book or 25 books, it's 20 bucks. He ships the books to you with FedEx within three business days. What, what, what more do you want? Anyways, guys, let's meet Tony. He's uh, waiting in the wings. Hopefully his, uh, <laughs> everything's, I heard him say, oh no. Hopefully he's, he's over there. Now I have Insta Instagram going right now. So hi to all my Instagram people. If you're over on Instagram, come on over to YouTube. Look up Comic Doctor and join in the fun. We got 30 people here already uh, before the claim sale starts. So come on over. Remember, you have to subscribe to the Comic Doctor channel in order to take part in the chats. We have guys here already. How you doing, Brian? How you doing, Paul? Stavros is here. Colin's here. Wobbles is here. How you doing? Uh, Big D1106, uh, TM, TMI is here. How you doing, guys? Uh, let's get Tony in here. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Tony. Hi, How buddy. How's it going? Good, you? Not bad. Thanks for uh, agreeing to do this. Yeah, thanks for having me. No, no, I thought of you right away. There's some I... nice books here tonight. Nice, nice stuff. I don't have an Aquaman 11. I'm sorry, I don't. No, but do but you have other stuff? Other good stuff, you think? Uh, I have a few big boys, yes. Yeah, some nice big boys. Yeah. All right. Um, did yeah. I miss? Did I miss anything, by the way, Tony, in regards to the payments or how you like? No, nope, everything's nope. good. So uh, EMT is preferred if you're in Canada, but it doesn't matter. You can do PayPal if it makes you feel better, friends and family. I prefer USD. We're gonna convert from Canadian or from USD to Canada if you're gonna do an EMT, and it's gonna be we'll just use XE. It's usually you know whatever. I think today was twenty nine percent. But whatever it is, uh, we'll just do that. Guys, Tony, um, Tony's very easy to work with. I mean, the one thing about doing these shows is I, I like to work with people that I know. I know Tony. 
Uh, and yeah. the people I bring on here will be my clients and, and other uh, comic dealers and collectors that I know. So I can, I can vouch for them. Um, and so anyways, I, I should put some people's minds at ease, I think anyways. Yeah. Well, I think, yeah. I hope. <laughs> I'm probably uh, a big proponent for honesty in, in the comic book community. I've been taken advantage of in my beginnings and I would never do that to anybody. So, yeah. And, uh, you know, you're, you're active on Facebook, Instagram. Yeah. Easy. I'm all over the place, He's you know, and everybody, to, everybody knows me. Easy to get a hold of. All right. Yeah. So we have uh 20% extra. If you're Greek helps with Greek taxes. Hi, Lee. Hi, uh, yeah. Yeah. 20% extra to me. Oh, I see. To you, to you. For That's tolerating how it goes. the Greeks. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're not we're not gonna go there, are we? <laughs> Stavros, you didn't you didn't hear that, Stavros. You didn't hear that. You didn't have that. All right. Well, listen. Again, if you're over on, I, I have my video. My, yeah, you my, can haggle. Uh, absolutely. Why not? Haggling, haggling's the best. You got to haggle in life. My gosh. Uh, you have a ha- PayPal business account. Oh yeah, I did hear that too. So if we if you don't have uh, if you do have a PayPal business, I mean whatever. I think you could send it, but you can't send whatever who cares we'll figure it out i'm not worried about it paypal is a bit of a pain i kind of stay away from it um but anyways i try to but most of most of the guys i deal with are are u.s because you know that's where all that's where i get primarily a lot of my books is from the u.s so shipping is going to be um fedex only that's all i use i've trusted them for years i don't blame you it's not cheap so I charge 20 bucks US for shipping. Doesn't matter if you get one book or 50 books. I'll take the take the lumps. All right. That's cool. And uh, you know, there's some cheap books here. There's some $75 stuff and there's some $30,000 stuff. So Oh, I'm sure we'll sell a couple of $30,000 books today. Oh, that'd hey, be nice. I think yeah, so. Yeah. I think so. But listen, again, guys, yeah. if you haven't done so already, there's 40 of you guys in the uh, in the chat room. Be sure to subscribe because if you see that book that you like, you want to be able to ask questions or perhaps even claim it. But you can't do that yeah. unless you subscribe because I'm only going based on the chat and YouTube. I'm not even looking at the uh, the Instagram. Instagram is live right now, and I'm only doing that to kind of siphon people from Instagram over to YouTube. So again, if you're in Instagram right now and you're watching this through my Instagram feed, leave this feed and come on over to YouTube. Look up Comic Doctor. It's live right now. Okay, Tony, we got 40 people here. What, what do you want to start with? What do you think? Uh, let me put the camera up. I yeah, for sure. Check on Instagram, see how many people are there. Yeah. I think it's just me, actually. So let me go back. All right. How's that? Yeah, it's that's good. That's good. Yeah, it's good. We'll figure All something right. out. Let me just get it. I'll, I got another screen too with a bigger, bigger shot here. There we go. A little bit bigger shot. How's that? Yeah, it's good to start us off. There we go. Okay, so. Let's uh, let's go somewhat big. Okay, let's start with the big one. Why not? ASM one twenty nine and eight point five. Nice. Off white to white. First appearance of the Punisher. This book is so pretty. Kevin, being the <laughs> presser that he is, will tell you that this book is sexy. And the book, the book has kind of softened a little bit over the last few weeks, so it might be a good time to pounce on it, right? It has, and I'll tell you, there's what I paid for it in March. So okay. now it's worth three grand, and that's what I'm asking. So three thousand USD for the ASM one twenty nine. Yeah. Um, All right. Ranger Comics, number 27, bondage cover, 5-0 off white to white pages, 1946 Fiction House book. Really nice book. That's a nice one, yeah. And a 5-0. Nice back cover. And it's cheap. I got uh, 375 or best offer on that one. Nice. Guys, yeah. if you want to see a book close up again, just let me know or Tony know, and I'll let me know and I'll let Tony know, and he will pop the book up closer to the camera again for you. Just got to turn this off. 
There we go. On account of my hearing disability. Yeah, okay, no, <laughs> all right, it's no problem. No problem. You can't hear, I can't see. Tell me about it. Four I got range. Uh, Wiz Comics number 18. Uh, Tony, we, 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 yeah. we, have an, we have an offer, I think, on that uh, uh, five Ranger? zero. Yeah, the Ranger uh, two seventy five, I believe, by four Ranger four collectors is offering you two seventy five on that one, I believe. Um, there's some people in Instagram saying they can't get in. They subscribe, but it won't let me chat. That's okay. Let me go back to here. Let me Tony is in Canada. Yep. Oh, hi, David. I see you. I'm going to see what's I going on. I don't see on. that offer. Do you? I, I see the chat. I, I got four Ranger, four collectors says 275. It's in my chat. Um, Ranger, can you do 300 on that? If you don't mind, please, that's, you know, that's less, way less than what I paid. I paid a lot of money for this book. Um, I don't mind doing 300 if you could. Okay, we'll wait to hear what he says. There's a bit of a lag, so it might take him a, a minute or two to, to respond. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking into my, uh, this this is a public, a public video. There's no reason why they can't get in. And yeah. chat's going. Yeah, you have to subs hit the subscribe button and it should work right away. Here's a great book. Awesome book. Uh, RV Le uh, Leffingwell and Company, Winter 1944, Jeep Comics, number one. It's a one-off book. They only made the one. Only issue, so there's the beginning and the end of the run right here. It's a 5-0, off-white pages. Number one, yeah. Number one. And I've got 650 on that book. 650? Yeah. Let me make a tag because I forgot to. Now, Four Rangers uh, says thanks. He's going to pass on that one for now. Uh, David Ross offered 250 on it. Dave, uh, David, are you willing to go to 300 on that for that, uh, for that book? There we go, Ranger. Okay. Um, My chat is live. There's another Ranger. Ranger Comics number 11, early issue. Uh, uh, 3.5. Tape on cover, interior cover, and interior. But it presents well. For some reason, all of these Ranger books, they fade because of the orange, I think, you know? Okay. But it's all there. There's tape right there. You can see it. Uh, but otherwise, it's a nice, clean copy. Nice war cover. This is cheap. I got 200 bucks on this one. That one should go rapid. 200 on a Ranger. Um, tell Tony it's the Punham. David Ross says. Okay, David. Uh, I'm going to put you down for 300 on this book. It's yours. No, uh, which one? The uh... Ranger 27. The first one you put out or the second one? First one. I don't think he wants it for 300. He said he yeah, offered... He What's that? He's taking it for 300. Oh, he is? Okay. David. So the <laughs> Ranger is... Okay. I'm looking at the chat here. It said no. Okay. Um... um and also, people want to know more about that Wiz Comics that you have there. Someone said that you didn't make didn't mention the price on it. I didn't, or, no, because we got talking. So this yeah. is a really, really iconic cover. Um, this is Spy Smashers Battles Captain Marvel. Really, really cool train cover. I love this book. Uh, the only reason why I'm selling it is because I'm going to upgrade to a higher, a higher grade. Off-White to White, 1.5. Super, super hard book to get. 
I got a thousand bucks on it or best offer. There's only 17 copies on the census created by CGC. And I think when I looked at CBCS, I think there was four. So when, what issue number is that? That's number 18. Super hard book to get. Um, Wilbur Comics. <laughs> David Ross says, Tony, I don't want it. Too late. <laughs> I don't Wilbur know. Wilbur Comics 53. <laughs> I'm not getting involved. All right. <laughs> this is a really hard book to get in any grade. Um, because of its content, this was one of the first Archie books that came out with, you know, like the whole sexual innuendos. So mm -hmm. there's one on the census, super hard book to get. I got 900 on it, 4.0 off white pages. Betty and Veronica. And we all know what Betty is. <laughs> David Ross is now saying 275. Tell David Ross uh, we'll negotiate like we always do. Well, David just heard you, so... Uh, hey, I'm David, there you go. Wayne, I'm looking for raw golden ages. Any raw golden ages coming up? No. No raw golden age. It's all, it's all slabbed up? Most of my golden age is at your place or already on at CGC. As okay. I get my golden age, I send them out right away. Okay. I don't, uh, I don't mess around with them because they're... So I like them so much. Yeah. Crime and Justice, number six. Another one-off, only one graded by CGC, 6.0. Uh, Charlton Comics, 1952. Nice. Uh, you know, some of these covers are just unbelievable. I got one book I'm going to show. This book's 300 bucks. Only one on the census. The only one on the census. There's none on the census other than one, that. Yeah. Wow. 600 or 300? 300. 300, 300. 300, okay. So, um, I sold this book to David the other night. Right. I'm going to show you. Oh, look at Oh, I put it in the box already. Sorry, I can't find it. Anyway. Mystic Comics, Volume 2, Number 4. It's See the last way. issue. Great date stamp or uh, company stamp on it. Mystic Number 4. Yeah. Volume two, number four, 1945, Timely Book. This is before Marvel bought Timely. It's an Alex Schomburg cover. Another really rare book, hard to get. I got two grand on this, or best offer. Okay. Yeah. Love that book. Again, guys, if anybody's on you on Instagram, I'm live on Instagram right now. If you can hear me, uh, come on over to YouTube. That's where you could take part in this. Subscribe to the channel, and you can take part in the chats. And you can also, uh, you know, make an offer on one of these awesome books if you so desire. And a lot more to come. Hey, David, how's it going? Good to see you. Um, her nanny's here. Uh, Golden Age Miles. He asks. <laughs> Blonde Phantom number 12, 1946. Sid Shore's cover. This is the first issue, formerly all select comics. Miss America backup story. Awesome covers, man. Some of these books are just. So this is the crossover. See, Timely Comics, but it says Marvel here. So this is the beginning of when Marvel bought Timely. Thousand, thousand, thousand bucks. Uh, Tony, again, how much is the ASM one twenty nine? Is it three k? Uh, three k or best offer. It's a really pretty book, really pretty book. Like a lot of them were miscut. This one's like perfectly cut right across the top. Corners are really sharp. This one has a little, little bit there. I don't know if Kevin can fix that for you or not. Uh -huh. that, it that? does need a press. You can see it's a little wavy. You what may is, get a 9-0 out of it, but I don't know. What is that in a uh, in a Canadian, 3,000, around what? About 40 so roughly uh, 
30%, call it, so 900 bucks, so roughly 38, 39. That price, a book has come down. That yeah, book was well, yeah. five, that was almost a $5,000 book six months ago. That was a $5,000 book three months ago. Three months ago? Yeah. Uh, Lobo 2K says, I'll go 2,800 US on the ASM. 2,800 ASM, or sorry, for the ASM offered by Lobo 2K. Is that how much, Kevin? 2,800 US. Congratulations, Lobo. Sold. You just got a steal. You, you did just get a freaking steal. Wow. Congratulations, Lobo. First book sold tonight, ASM, to Lobo 2K. So now, yeah, Tony. Your books. Yeah, I'm going to put one up right now. Now, 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 Tony. Yeah. So do you know Lobo 2K? I do not. So Lobo 2K should do what now? Should he contact you via email? No, uh, through Instagram. So it's Yetzi Tony. Oh, yeah, it's on. I have it's that. My name backwards at okay. Yetzi Tony. Do you have uh, twenty eight hundred? Do you have Instagram Lobo? I'm Lobo sure two. Yeah, I that. don't know why it putting my other account. I, I it's okay, Lobo. Listen, Lobo. Uh, if you go back to my first page right here, I'll go to my opening because I have uh, it all there. Uh, or do I? No, I don't have your. I first. I don't have your um, your uh, Instagram set up here. But it's it, Tony's Instagram is Ietsi. Oh, hey Ben, huh? Lobo. I I know I know Ben is Canadian actually. So um, yeah. So Ben, throw uh, throw Tony an email or find him on on uh, Instagram at Ietsi Tony. His name backwards, and you'll find yeah. him right away. He's got a. Is it a Corvette you got on there, Tony? As your picture? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. A little a red Corvette. So congratulations. That's a good pickup, uh, Ben. That's a great pickup. Very good pickup. Congratulations. I forgot to plug in my phone, so I'm gonna make people <clears throat> seat pick for a second. It's okay. There we go. All right. Uh here's a here's a great Ranger book. It's a great one. I love this cover, but I have it in a nine oh, so that's uh, the one I have is not a pedigree. This one is. Ranger 52, Ooh. 1950 Fiction House, New Hampshire pedigree, 7 -0. Look at that. That's Fire Hair, Girl of the Golden West. Such a great cover. And it's got that beautiful pedigree label. I love that label. I absolutely adore it. I yeah. love looking at it. And I got uh, 500 or best offer on the Ranger, which is a great deal. And I wouldn't. I wouldn't be opposed to doubling up these two if you wanted to make a bundle offer. Oh, I got another Ranger. Whoa, that's a big one. <laughs> Look at that. Ranger 57. Ranger 57. And an oh. 8.5. 1951. Look at fire hair. Oh, look at that. That's a beautiful cover, eh? Woo! Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? Easy. <laughs> My best friend is native. I'm okay. Oh. <laughs> uh, this book is seven seventy five or best offer. So we can do a triple bundle. Ra Ranger books. Yeah. And I have some really high grade ones, so I don't mind cutting these loose. That is a really super grade. That's a super grade because it's a pet green. That's just a cool book. So that's awesome. Again, guys, if you want to take part in the chat, you have to subscribe to the channel and then you can take part in the chat right away. If you're over on Instagram right now watching my computer screen, this is my uh, OBS setup here uh, to show you that we are live. Come on over to YouTube. Come on over to YouTube. Uh, look up Comic Doctor. You'll see a little Comic Doctor icon with a live. That's us going right now. And you can uh, jump in. Again, hit subscribe. And I, with, as soon as you hit subscribe, you should be able to start participating in the chat. All right. What else you got, Tony? Yep. I'm just clicking back over here. All right. All right. So uh, 
I got a Hulk 102. Okay. I got actually here. You know what? I got a raw one. I got a oh. slab one that's signed by Stan, and I got a super high grade one. They're all 102s. This one's 6.5, signed by Stan. Nice. Beautiful signature. Yeah, it says it clean. 1968, 6.5, off white pages. And I got 1,000 on that one, or best offer. 1K. Yep. Okay. Stavros says, Tony, Tony, one silver book and sold. More silver, s'il vous plaît. Mm, well. Yeah. Maybe, you know, every, you know, sometimes guys, we get a night where people are going to want golden age and nights where guys are going to want silver age and perhaps yeah. tonight's the night. We'll see. I think Tony's got more up his sleeve. So a 102 and a 6.5 signed by Stan for 1K and a raw one. There's a raw one, 7075. It's got that right there, but corners are nice. Spine's nice. Couple of little tickies, but nothing bad. Um, the back cover's nice. I got 400 on that one. I'm going to put it here. All right. And I have, where it is, take me a minute. Where did I put it? Oh, no. Huh. I must not have pulled it. I thought I did. Was it a high grade one? It is, yeah. 9.4. Oh, 9.4. I'm sure I pulled it. Hello, Tom. Yeah. Welcome, my friend. There it is. So here's a 9.4 off white pages. And I got 2K on this one. Wow. Which is below GPA. I just looked it up today. GPA is 21.50. These are on eBay for 29, 3 grand, 35. They're mm -hmm. all over the board. All right. So I'll put all three 102s here. You guys can. Ask about anyone you want. All right, we can ponder that for sure. Hello, Tom. How you doing? Thanks for coming by. Prime must pay the penalty. 25. 75 bucks. Hand nice. over those bags of registered mail. And no false moves. Or I'll... No, you don't. Drop that gun. Or I'll let nice. you have it. A nice entry level golden age book, eh? Yep, 1952, 75 bucks. Come on. Yeah. Cost you that much to get it. Me more to slab it. Exactly. ASM annual number one. Oh, oh here we go. Some ASMs. 2.0, low grade, but I love this book. It's so pretty. I just love the Sinister Six, man. Um, I got a thousand bucks on this book. Okay. And uh, just to confirm on the Hulk 9.4, is it off white pages? It is. It's off white pages. Okay. There you go, Lobo. Uh, Tom says he loves the pre cord horror. David Ross says, Hi, George. It's the Punham. I Punham How Was Toronto show. Stavros, hey David V, I travel off to New Hampshire. They're just talking. Like the chat's talking amongst themselves. That's cool. Hi from Toronto. How you doing, guys? Makes no difference if you're in the United States. If you're in Canada, uh, Tony will ship anywhere in North America using FedEx. So there's not a problem with that at all. He does yeah, all no, kinds of deals no. in the states already, so that's not an issue. If you're and and right now, like if you notice in the bottom there, uh, right down down there, we notice that it's all this is all U.S. pricing, so. Very easy for our American friends to jump in. JLA number one. Oh, I want that one. 2.5. Classic DC book. 2.5. I got this book at 1400 rest offer. Okay. How's the back look, Tone? Back is awesome. Really nice. Got some tape. 
but it's, I mean, the colors are great. It presents really, really well. Paper quality is, was it off white again or off white to white? Yeah. Off white to white. Yeah. Goldwing renovations. Hey brother, couldn't end up getting out of traffic three hours. Well, you're here now, Goldwing. So wow. welcome. It's a lot of traffic. Yep. Um, I think I'll put up another gold or silver, I mean. Green Lantern number one. Oh, nice. 4.5. Creamed off white pages. Really nice presenting book. Super, super, super sharp. This, you know, this red and blue combination usually fades really badly. Yep. This one's great. It's bright. It's brilliant. And it's uh, 2100 bucks. Okay. I can't believe those Rangers are still there. Wow. Especially this one. That is a gorgeous cover. Look at it. Like, it's just banging sharp. Tony, I'm going to sleep. Can't buy when you put a gun to my head. LOL. <laughs> David, right? Yep. He's not going to sleep. <laughs> Again, if you're on, if you're over on my Instagram and you're seeing this uh, weird looking TV uh, monitor situation, come on over to YouTube and uh, catch the real show. Catch the real show. Jump in the chat, subscribe, and get involved. It's a lot of fun. All right. So so far, all we sold is an ASM 129. That's okay. That's okay. How about a Hulk 181? Well, people like the Hulk 181s. How do they like it with a Mark Jewelers? Mm. That's a rare one. Mark Jewelers insert Hulk 181 at a 6.0. You don't see that too often at all. Nope. The How Mark much Jewelers you want for that? Super uh, rare. That... No miscut. Nice, sharp line across. You, some of the miscuts are a lot of them. They go yeah. up and then you don't have the red up here and shit. So what, a thousand bucks for this one or what? Yeah, yeah, you're right on. Six thousand five hundred, your best offer. I tried, guys. I tried trying to find 60... a Mark Jewelers. If you go on eBay, I know eBay is crazy, but if you go on eBay, they're like ten grand. Yeah, well. Or yeah, if you go to, no. or or if you go to Fan Expo, <laughs> everything's like yeah. 40 40 percent more. It was ridiculous. Uh, heck yeah, I like it on here. Well, I'm, we're glad you're here, Goldwing. Tom says, big book that one twenty nine. Yep. MJ Rare, good alignment too. It is David Ross. You forgot about my forced sale of Ranger, Kevin. Uh, so you're taking it, David. I, yeah, I understand. He's taking it. Okay, so according to Tony, you're taking it. Uh, yeah, Hearn. Hearn won a Green Lantern. It was one of my giveaways. He won it. Oh, really? That one right yeah. there? No, no, no. It was a two zero, I think, or two five. Nice. Yeah. Tom wants to know if he'll trade you his truck for your Hulk one eighty one. Mm, I don't know, Tom. Send a picture of your truck. It's a possibility. You never know. Ben wants to know, uh, Green. what Green Lantern is that? That's Green Lantern number one. Number one, yep. Yeah. Number one. In a 2.5 off-white to white pages, Ben. Any big spenders in the room? Well, we'll, well find out. I'll put that one up too. I forgot about this. Negative zone. Tell me about it. Ah, oh, another one I need. Isn't Green that great? Lantern. Yeah. Too. yeah, that's a sweet book. Off white to white. Yep, you can clean that up, Kevin. It's got a little bit, little there, just a slight bit. Nice book, man. Yeah, and it's cheap. I got a thousand bucks on it. The best offer. Wow. I'll put the GLs together, and then I'm going to put a big boy out. A big boy. Oh, I thought you put a couple of big boys out already. You got bigger than that? Well, then I'm going to put a massive boy out. Okay. How's that? Go for it. <coughs> we all like to see big, awesome comic books here. Stavros, trying to figure out what, what my 181 is graded at. Maybe upgrade. 
could. The art well, chemist says good evening. Who could tell me what this book is besides Kevin? Oh, oh, I, oh, yeah, yeah. He showed me this. Check this out, guys. This is ridiculous. Let's see who knows. Let's wait a second. Kevin, open your purse strings. Yeah, I know, eh? Uh, volume two, number four. Super great book, The Mystic. Where is it? Is it? Out? It's behind there. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, I'll pull it out right now. It's rates. Right. Oh, I see. <clears throat> Mystic. <clears throat> it's a timely. It's the last issue. Before they went over to Marvel. Awesome, awesome book. Hello to the art chemist. How you doing? And art chemist said fla. He means flash, obviously. He's not wrong. Oh, and it's a flash. Which one? Which wow. issue? Let's find out. Let's find out. The suspense is killing them. It's not killing anybody. It's not a Batman. This is a big one. It's a big one. I'll tell you what the price is first before I show it. The price is $35,000. i will show you the grade. I think David Ross said he'll take it. Yeah, all right. See the grade? 9.4. Boom. Wow. Showcase number four. It's restored, but so is a 57 Chevy. <laughs> and I don't care about restored books. When they're this big, I don't care. Isn't that beautiful? There's a nice looking book, boy. 35K or best offer. And that is so, so, so far under the money. So I'm if that book you. if that book was not restored, what would it oh, go it'd for? Be hundreds of thousands. Okay, it'd be hundreds of thousands. Well, this is well, you know, this is uh, a DC's equivalent to AF fifteen. Yeah, for Silver Age so Flash. So the, the DC guys go nuts over this, like Marvel guys go crazy over Am Amazing Fantasy, right? Yeah. So this is uh, this is the big DC silver. There it is, thirty five k. We're going to put it up here. You probably can't see it, but I don't know it's, it's there. It's there in spirit. We know it's there. And then I'll just move it up so you can see the bottom a little bit. There you go. Yeah. You bastard. There we go. <laughs> That's a big boy. Is it the Feist Wild Great Book? What the hell does that mean? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Our chemist, we don't know. Uh, let's see what we got here. How about Gangbusters number three, 1948. Gangbusters 40. I'm going to. 1948, 3.0. Great store stamp there. 3.0 off white pages. Nice advertisement for Baby Ruth. And it's 175 bucks. Another nice, uh, nice uh, one to get you into the golden age world there. Golden uh, age. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Negative Zone says, Kevin, are you going to the Durham Comic Show in a few weeks? I'm contemplating of getting a table. You know what? No, I'm not. I'm only going to be doing, the only shows I'm going to do are uh, Rob's shows at a Toronto with Flip. And that's the Toronto Comic Book Show. It's, it's in October, right? It's October 16th. It's consistently the best show there is. Uh, I wish the guys here in Durham good luck. Um, Durham is a hard sell, I've found in the past. The other guys have tried it. It might work out. I, I just I just don't have time to set up there. I, I mean, even getting ready to, to do this sale took me away from doing other things that I got to get done. But I, I want to try. I've been talking about this for a long time. And I said, you know what? I'm doing it. So I did it. 
But shows, I'm only going to do the Toronto comic book shows. But if you do set up their negative zone, good luck. I hope it's a success for you. Good luck, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Astonish. Tales of Astonish. Oh, signed by the man himself. Number Another 60. Nice Great Giant Man and Incredible Hulk cover. What grade is it? Um, Six? 4-0 oh, off four white. Oh. 700 bucks. I mean, can't find Stan Lee books. I mean, he's not around to sign anymore, so. Uh, I got some big golden age if somebody wants them. I got Incredible Hulk number five. Oh, nice. Five, five off white to white. That's a nice it's one. It's a pencil variant. Oh, it's a British one, eh? British one, yeah, but it's cheap. It's two grand or best offer. Number five, uh, what issue number five, right? Number five, yeah. I think this is the nicest issue, like the grit in that small six run, six book run. I think this is the best one. It's a nice cover for sure. Yeah, I think it's awesome. Tony is treating me like a vampire. He drove a stake right through my heart. Who's that, David? David said that. If I showed you the stuff I give David, you puke. David's been a good friend, actually. I shouldn't say it's bad. Um, I'm, about, not, I'm not getting in the middle of that. How about an X-Men 49? That's a pretty good book, yeah, X-Men 49. How about one signed by Starank? Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice looking Little book. Jimmy signed that one. One of my favorite covers right there, man. I love that cover. And that's my favorite, aside from Stan, that's my favorite signature. Oh yeah, Serenko. I think his man. signatures are awesome. I got nine hundred bucks on this. Okay. Yep. First Polaris. And I got. Uh, mm -hmm. Here's a big one. USA Comics number two, nineteen forty-one. Timely. USA number 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 one, number two. Or number well, two, it's the number one, buddy. It'd be so much money. Big swastikers on there. Stavro says, "What was, what was the Hulk one eighty one? Mine is a six zero. Yours is a six five, right? Mark's jeweler. No, mine is a six zero. Oh. Oh, it's a 6 as well. The only difference, Stavros, his is a Marks Jeweler insert, a little more rare. Super uh, rare. Super rare. Steranko, funniest guy ever, yeah. Uh, Harani is offering 120 on Gangbusters. <laughs> Going to Herney. This book here is $47.50 or best offer. $47.50? I'll put it up here with the showcase. God. Jeff Bash, are you doing Jeff? Yeah, they're nice books, eh? Peter's in the house. Hi, Peter. Would like the details on that show. Well, we're seeing how it goes, Peter. I mean, this is the first time I'm doing it. So uh, to sell a, a, the Star Wars one along with some ASM and myself, our Venom, Lethal Protector Black, you're going to do it? You're going to sell that? I think we're going to keep that book. Um, Peter, I got your, your message, but it came through Square, and I couldn't respond to it. Um, but anyways, we'll talk. We'll talk for sure, Pete. Good to see you. Thanks for, for tuning in. Um. Oh, I see. Okay. When is the Atomic Age? The Atomic Age is uh, the 40s, I think, isn't it? Right? Um, I think the Atomic Age is the 40s, I believe. What Atomic Age? If, for comics, I assume he's meaning. I, I don't know if there is actually an Atomic Age for comics. The Atomic Age would be, I guess, the... Um, oh, oh, so no. Atomic Age is before... Uh, yeah, 40... 38 to 47 or something. Right. And then this golden age is after that and onwards, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, show details uh, dated October 16th. Okay. Yeah. So Peter, yeah, the next Toronto comic book show is on October the 16th. 
at the Monte Cassino Hotel and uh, Convention Center in Toronto. If you look up uh, Toronto Comic Book Show on, on Google, you should find it no problem. Yeah. If you need more details, uh, let me know and I can I can send you the link. Uh, Rob actually just came by my shop and dropped off his poster for it. So um, right on. certainly a good show to go to. Uh, uh, show details, uh, Peter, sorry, Jeffrey, showcase row isn't on camera for FYI. I know we're not there yet. Well, uh, we are, but we're not. Uh... We, we, don't have, we only have so much room, right? So. Uh, what do you got there? Slave Girl uh, number one, 1949 Avon. This is super, super hard to get in this grade because, well, you know why. Boink. All the young boys mm -hmm. treated themselves like an amusement park to this cover. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> they nice. rode the ride 100 times a day. I bet they did. So 8.0, this book is... Like, I mean, I've had probably 10 copies. It's the highest copy I have. I'm going for a higher copy. So I have to sell this one in order to force myself to find a higher grade. Higher grade. So what do you this want for that book one? is 3,500. 3,500. Okay. And I'm okay with not selling it because that means I don't have to spend more money. Because like if I was to go to an 8.0 or an 8.5 rather, we're talking $3,000, $4,000 difference. Right. Travis, how's it going? Thanks for coming by. Some good books here tonight. Um, art Chemist, does your friend have an IG page? I think the Art Chemist is talking to you, Tony. Um, so it's my name backwards. It's Yetsy Tony. Yep. So if you see Tony's name right down there, just go it's to... Backwards. Yes, backwards. Who's last, last name, name first. first? First name last. Yeah. And he's got a Corvette for his uh, his avatar. Okay. Uh, yeah, probably not, but you know what? Did you sell that's that book to her nanny? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hearn's got it. Yeah, yeah, okay, sure. all right. Congratulations, her nanny. Uh, 181 is 6500 her best offer. It's a Mark Jewelers. Hard to get a 181 in a Mark Jewelers. I got offered um, a 60 Mark Jewelers 180. And he wanted four grand for it and felt no way about me saying too much money. And he was like, good luck trying to find one. And he's right. I did look it up after. Not an easy book to get. Mark Jewelers are hard. There's a Mark Jewelers, same grade on eBay right now for $99.99. The thing about Mark Jewelers, right? It's like, me, I could care less. I, I wouldn't want it. But some guys do like those oddities and those rarities. So if that's, that's your, if you're, if that's, that's your why bag. I own it. Yeah, I so. like those rare ones like this, like Miss Fury number eight. Like, look at that label. Know, the last issue, again, just before uh, uh, time we went over to Marvel. Super, super good cover. Pedigree book again, Promise Collection. And I got 4,500 on the Miss Fury. 4,500 on Miss Fury. So there's a lot to be said about these books. People say, oh, that's a lot of money. But you know what? Would you rather buy 30 of these? I mean, yeah, if you want, I mean, there's, you know, the old saying, right? Quality over quantity. So let's have, a let's have a close look at that Hulk 181 again. Let's show everybody that one. That's six zero. Like I've got four Daredevil ones, but only because I love the cover. It's not because, you know, I'm looking for qual quantity. Now you're asking 6,500 for this one? Six hundred the best offer or best offer, okay. Mark Jewelers, hard book to get in a Mark Jewelers, perfect cut across the top. Most of them are on an angle. That's one thing I do look for. If you look at my one twenty nine that I just sold, it's a straight cut too. Um, I'd rather have a big chunk out of the bottom than a miscut on the top. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Adam. Adam Strange. Adam Donnelly. Mm. All right. Well, we're going to call him Adam Strange. Nice. Is that it, Tony? No more books? <laughs> There's a few more. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what you guys want. Do you want $75 books or do you want big books? Are you just here for show and tell or do you want to like, sit around bullshit? Because we can do that if you want. 
If you guys are looking for anything in particular, uh, now's the time in the chat. Let us know what you're looking for. Maybe Tony can uh, can um, fill the bill. Yeah, it's like I have some Hulk Raws that I wouldn't mind getting rid of. But, any uh, Savros is looking for any a early ASMs number 10 and under? No. No? No, I don't have them. And if I do, I'm going to keep them. So The ASM books, okay. Anybody else? Give me that 1970s Marvels. Any 1970s Marvels? Um, not a bronze guy, really. I mean, I have a bunch of Hulks, like I said. 1980s, so these are bronze, yeah. If anybody's into bronze, I'll give you a good deal on all of these. Here, I'll go through them. We'll see. Oh, I do have an ASM book, actually. Forgot about it. Well, you have the ASM annual number one. Art Chemist says, does you Jimmy Olsen 134? I think I have a Jimmy Olsen 134 in an 8.5. I might sell, but it's not available. I got to go digging through my bins to find it. Um, ASM number 19. Oh, there you go. That's an early one. That's a nice book. Number 19. I got it at 6065 for 350. And I think with Kevin's magic, it could bump, really bump. It needs a press. It's wrinkly. But the staples are pretty. It's not yeah. a lot of spine bullshit on it. I mean, it can bump. So I got 350 on that. I've got okay. um, Secret Wars number eight in a newsstand, 7580 for 200. Secret Wars number eight. And a direct 7580 for 150. Then I got this is the end of my uh, my raw. So I'm gonna there's a stack of hulks and then there's these. Uh showcase number 39, 65, 50 bucks. Showcase number 38, 5055, 75 bucks. Tiny Tots number two, EC book, 6065 for 40 bucks. And then here are the Hulk books. Before you go there, Tony, we got some people yeah. asking questions. Any EC horror books from Sanjay I Steve? Uh, also, looking for high grade ASM. Uh, uh, under 100, pre preferably white pages. Uh, James says Journey Mystery 107. No, uh, Jim. No. Uh, no X Men, except for the one. David it's Ross says one. Crime Does Not Pay 33. Do you have? I have it. It's not for sale, David. We already had this talk. <laughs> uh, Tom says I have a bunch of slabs. I would love to trade up for a bigger, older book, Tom says. What kind of slabs, Tom? Tom, that's the kind of thing you're going to do. Like, you're going to contact Tony after the show. Yeah, just send me a message. And you can figure last something name, out. First, first name, last is my Instagram. You can reach me there. You'll see my 60 Corvette in the picture. But remember, my friends, when you do that, when you decide you want to trade five or six or seven or ten books for one book, you usually got to give the guy giving you the one book a little bit better of a deal, Right? Because you're now asking him to trade one book for 10 books. And it's a hell of a lot harder to sell 10 books than just one. You know, it's it's a lot more work, especially if that's your goal to sell, right? Um, I guess it depends on exactly what book it is too. But just generally speaking, like when I got my Hulk number one, I traded about, I gave the guy an additional $2,500 worth of trade fodder for that Hulk number one. It hurts, don't get me wrong, but I wanted that Hulk number one, right? So yep. uh, let's see here. My Hulk number one is a 9.8, and uh, I paid a lot of money for that. Is it restored? It is. Okay, you're going to scare me there. A 9.8. Well, there's no that? other, there's only three restored 9.8s. So there's no other 9.8s in existence. The highest blue label is a 9.4. Daniel Mark uh, Marcocos Marcocos says, any more, sorry if I messed your name up, any more Mystic Comics, mainly number six or seven? Uh, no. Brett Butler says, any X-Men books? 
It's the 194 on the or 49 on the wall, the $900. Uh, where's the owner? Show that one again, maybe. Um, and uh, do you have military comics number 14? Enough said, no. the man. No. no? Let me look because I know where those are. Well, he might have. You never know, military. Uh, enough said, the man. One second. Number six. 14, he's looking for. I thought I had them all in one spot, but I don't. No, I just, I can only see the one. Wow, more Ranger books. Gee. So you're the guy buying all those Ranger books. I think I must have bought the whole run. Uh, no, number six is available. The rest of them, what's over here, maybe? Military, right? Military, number 14. Tom Lennox. Federal yeah. Nan. Blue Bolt. Mutiny. Yeah, mutiny, that's close. No, Tom there's Len not a I have to think about Okay. Well, Tom Lennox also says Avengers number eight, four point five, is one piece of candy. Um, Stavro says, "Do you have a low grade Hulk number one for sale?" I have a number one in a one zero. Oh, it's not cheap. Well, you have it available to show? It's not here. No. No. Okay, Stavros, he has a number one in a one zero for sale. A one. What's that going it's for pretty. now? It's pretty. It's a, it's complete. It's just you know. A one oh. But not it's not like there's chunks missing or anything. And not restored. It's just well, it wouldn't be restored in a one. It's just a and it's is it, it PGX? Would be a one it's restored. That's right. PGX, CGC. CGC. All right. I am uh, in Canada, Aaron. Yeah, Aaron, we are in Canada. But we ship all over. Well, I keep saying we. It's not me. It's Tony. I'm not. I'm not shipping nothing. It's, whatever Tony sells, he's taking care of it. I'm just the you host. Kevin, help me ship, Kevin. No, I got enough work to do. Uh do you ship to Canada? So yes, we do. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, let me show these Hulks real quick. Yeah. Now, bear in mind, I'm going to show you one. They're all like this. These are like run books, right? High grade I don't run know. books. They're, they're kind of mixed up, but look at these books are minty, minty, minty. I mean, they're clean. Look how, look how nice this book is. They are all like this. All of them are, these are 90 plus, 90, 92s. Like they're, oh, I can't do that, Ed. Hang on. I'm getting an invite. Can't do that. Yeah, these are 9294s all day long. Maybe more. Probably more, but I'm going to call them that to be safe. So number 288. And you're selling Number, them as a lot? Yeah, sure. Okay. As a lot or individually, 15 bucks each. Okay. 243. 241. I love that cover. 241. So high grade Hulk run books. 15 bucks a piece. 274. That's a great cover. 273. That's another great cover. Wow. 270. Yeah, some of these Bronze Age books are just great. Eh? Mm -hmm. 266. Kind of like a spin off of Phoenix. Yeah. 277. So Bruce Banner must die. Spoiler, he doesn't. <laughs> 276. Nice. Ooh. 244. Again, all minty sharp. Uh, this one's got a sticker on it. 238. Says 25 cents. Moron. <laughs> 
240. Two seventy eight, nice, great cover. Look at the ass on Hulk. Yeah, it's very tight. He's working mm -hmm. on it. Mm hmm. Here's uh, two eighty. So, how many of these run books do you have? I think there's. I think there's thirty. Thirty of them. Two eighty three, another great cover. Number eleven. King size annual. Mm -hmm. This is kind of the 180 spinoff, eh? Well, it's oh, before yeah. the 180, so no, 173. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. 289. 281. 262. Now someone's asking actually if you uh, have an X Men, an X Men one or a I'll giant size. Line. Give me one sec. Oh. oh, okay. Sorry. There we go. Someone's asking. Jeffrey's asking if you have an X Men one or a giant size X Men number one. I have a giant size X Men number one at Kevin's right now. Kevin is pressing and cleaning it. It's going to be at least a six oh seven oh. Yep. I have it. I don't know if you want to see it. it yet. Do you want me to show it off, or you want to wait and get that graded? Well, I'll sell it now, but it's not going to be cheap because I know what the grade's going to be. Yeah. Two seventy-five. Uh, annual number nine. You can show it in a minute, Kevin, if you want. Yeah, for sure. It's right over there. Two eighty-six. Two eighty-five. And finally, two eighty-four. Nice. So, uh, well, you got an, uh, while you did all that, you had an offer for your ASM 19 uh, from Daniel. He's in the GTA. He can happily pick it up tomorrow, he says, for 300 U.S. cash. For this? The ASM 19, the raw one on your left there, right there. Yeah. Oh, this? Yes. You're asking 350. He's offering 300. Now I lost my count. Way to go, Daniel. Well, you know. These things happen. I'll go grab that giant size while you do that. One sec. Twenty. Twenty two. Twenty four. Twenty six books. And as I said, they are all beautiful. With the exception of the one with the sticker. So let's call it twenty five. Um, ben, ben is offering the 350 on the ASM actually one. Uh, I was going to stick to 350, so we'll give the first guy the option for 350. If not, if he doesn't want it, please comment and then we'll give it to the other guy. Okay, so basically, Daniel, he's going to stick to 350. If you don't want it, then Ben, it's yours. So let us know, uh, I Dan. Do have a Hulk 180. Oh, okay. Do you want me to show the giant size X Men? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. I'll, I'm going to get out of the seat. I'll be right back, okay? Um, yeah. Let me go to my other page. All right, guys. So this is for Jeffrey, I think it was. Asking it's for a Geoffrey. What's that? Geoffrey. Geoffrey. Uh, X-Men number, giant size X-Men number one. There we go. It's a nice book. It's solid. I, I'm guesstimating 6.0 to 7.0. Could it hit a 7.5? Stranger things have happened. I don't think so. I, I think it's safe to say between 6 and 7 on a really bad day, 5.5. Five. I don't think it'll be a 5.5, five, but you know what? You should always have that in your mind that it could happen, I suppose. But that's it right there. I'm not taking it out to show the back and all that. I just pressed it. It's done. She's ready to go to CGC now. So anyways, Jeffrey, that's that's there. Yeah. Um uh Ben has Ben took the uh ASM 350 and Ben is also the same gentleman who purchased your ASM 129. Okay. All right. Okay, thanks Ben. That's all good. So Ben has the 
ASM 129 and the ASM 19 for 350. And he got the, uh, it was 2800. I think he bought the ASM 129 for, right? It is, yeah. Yeah. So okay. it's the, was it the first guy that passed on it? Yeah. Uh, Daniel passed on it. Ben took it. Okay. Thanks, Ben. All right. Thanks, Daniel. Okay. And all those, uh, and you have a Hulk 180 you want to show off to Stavros. You can do that. And all those Hulk run books, there's what, 27 you said? 26. Call 25 because the one has a sticker. Uh, you can have them all for 300 bucks. 300 bucks for the whole just lot. Over, that's about uh, 11 bucks a book. And which 102 did you want to see, uh, Ben? He's got three of them. He's got three 102s. Oh, the 9 4. The 9 the 4 and the raw. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is going to Ben. Thanks, Ben. And Ben wants to see your Hulk 102 again uh, in the 9.4 so and the Raw. Right? Yes, Ben is Lobo. Okay. And all right, what did he want to see? The 9.4? And the uh, Raw one. The 9.4 is pretty, man. And the Raw one is pretty, too. The only thing, the reason why I got it at a 7.0 is because of this color break right here. It's color breaking? Or is it, it just is. a dent? It is a okay. Well, you could see, Kevin. Look close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I can see that. So you, you, can, you can press use, it. Use, out. Your you can, good, use your good eye. Yeah, I got it. You can smooth that out, but you're going to always have that that You'll always see it. The line there. Yeah. This book has not been pressed. It could be pressed. Um, two thousand in a slab, ready to go. Four hundred, lower grade, but you know you'll have. 700 in it slabbed pressed clean blah 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 so less than half price or you could have one signed by the man in a 6.5 ben by day lobo by night that's right staff mm -hmm. stavros you're back you're back from greece or are you still in greece oh man he was that's, in greece for a while Uh, okay, page quality on the 9.4 is off white to white. Or is it white? Hang on. Yeah, I think that's what it said. Off white, yep. Yeah. Off white to white or just off white? No, just off white. Off white, so not to white, just off white. All right. So I will tell you that that book was an old slab, and I just sent it in to have it re -slab. I didn't have it graded or cleaned, so I don't know, Kevin, if you can clean it and press it. Um, so that's an old grade. It had a Gen 2 label. Okay. So ben, I so think thanks. if it's sent in under today's, um, David, do you know Stavros? He's in Montreal too. Yeah. Who? Dave? Oh, okay. Yeah. Puna. Welcome back, Stav. And Ben says, thanks for the info. Uh, $300 on all those hulks if anybody wants them. And they are pretty, pretty, pretty books. I'm not bullshitting you. You will be very surprised when you get them. How about that other book I have here of yours? You want to show that one off or do you want to wait and send that in? I can't remember what it is. What? Oh. Uh, so that's one of my four. We can show it, but I really didn't want to sell that. But yeah, go ahead, show it. I don't know what you'd want for it. This is another one of Tony's books. And you you guys, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw both of these books on Instagram. Um, here is this other one. And I'll go back to my big screen again. It's coming. There you go. Okay, so... Can you make the pages white, Kevin? Oh. Yeah, yeah, if I bleached it. Now, now this book, this book was pretty uh, pretty beat up. It is, it's detached. It's the, the cover is completely detached from each other and from the book, obviously. Uh, the whole book's there. There's a little bit of tape on the back cover. There was a tear and a, there's a tape there. But I mean, it, the book will probably come back. What do you think, Tony, a one? Yeah, it'll be a one oh. It'll be a one zero. It presents decent for a Daredevil number one. I don't know what Tony's going to want for it. But anyways, it's here too. If you want to talk to Tony about it, 
I just so happen to have these here, and they're ready to go back to him. It's going to uh, go. Uh, it, I was actually going to pick them up today. It's uh, it's going to be uh, a one of is what it's going to be. And the, I want uh, I want seventeen fifty for it, and I think that's cheap. Hang on, let me look. I don't mind uh, going to GPA and making sure I'm not looking like an asshole. So. Daredevil. Oh, Ben's talking about can I make the pages white on the on the Hulk one eighty one oh two? That's what he's ben. talking about. Yeah, I know. Ben, I, I I don't profess to do that. I don't know. You know, I have yeah, seen now the you know, Tony's saying it's an old label book, right? And I have seen old label books come back white page. Um, but I've also seen them go yeah. down. I seen them go both ways. So I mean, nothing I'm gonna do is going no, to improve no, the page quality. Not in a nine four, you wouldn't see it go down. Uh, I hope not. So that book is trending. I mean, oh, okay, thanks. Ben. A one zero is uh, it's anywhere between fourteen thirty four and twenty one forty nine. So, so you're 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 right in the middle, midway, which I think is really fair. The high point was just. A month ago, so I think books are getting a little bit soft right now because of all the cons. But they're gonna they're gonna turn back up again next month once the cons slow down. I can't I can't actually tell you like the summer my phone has not been I, every week I got guys dropping books off, but uh, the the con the contacting me every day I'm, that's kind of dwindled off a little bit. But yeah, it start, it'll, it'll pick up again. It's, oh, it's, it's already it's, it's it's already no, it's already started. The last week I noticed it's starting yeah. to get calls and texts and emails again. People are gone away for the summer. They're not thinking about comics, but yeah, exactly. now that September is just around the corner, and the, and the, and then all the Marvel movies are going to start coming out again, and it all starts all over. Here's a great book. I just love this book. Um. I just love this book. And it's actually a decent enough grade for me that I would keep it. Captain Marvel Adventures, number 23, 1943. Auto Bender story, CC Beck cover, racist cover, but like such a cool, 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 cool book. Attaboy Steamboat. So that <laughs> must be his name, Steamboat. Oh, it's terrible. Well, it's all right. It's a time period, right? Time period, man, 1943. Lucky it didn't have other words on there. Yeah. Uh, like I have some of the, some war books. It says like kill the Japs, but like, what are you thinking, man? Yeah. Um, anyway, I got 800 on this. There's 46 on the census. Hard book to get and anything higher than that. I'm going to go for a higher grade, but. Racist cover, but Wayne, you're back. Um, Stavro says, um, my ASM 129 9.4 was white and page quality dropped when I resubmitted it. So there you go. It can happen. Really? Eh? Oh yeah, it can happen. But I've seen it I've seen it go both ways. I've seen it go up, I've seen it go down. So Yeah. Well, that's the gamble, right? I mean Yep. It's a part of the game. We hope it doesn't go that way, but sometimes it does. Action 58. No, I do not have action 58. Laugh out loud. I have action nine. Action comics number nine? Sure do. It's put away. Of I bet, yeah, yeah. Um Thor three three seven. Love this beta ray bill cover. Oh, that's nice. I don't man. know why I love it so much. I just I think it's great. What are you asking for that one? Two forty. 240 and nine, it's a, six white pages. Okay. Unless Kevin, you think you can get a nine, eight out of it. I've been known to do it on that, on that book in particular. Just depends on what the flaws are. I mean, it's pretty nice. Just this, you see that little mark right there? No, <laughs> but I'm sure I take your word for it. Use your uh, good eye. I'm trying. I'm like... Anyway. Wayne, Kevin, you look tired. Wayne, it's been two days of ridiculousness. I've been—I'm just exhausted. You know what? I'm exhausted too. So yeah, I am pretty if, tired. If nobody wants to buy. I'm okay with shutting it down because I'm fucking tired. Yeah, I'm pretty zonked myself. But uh, we've been going for an hour and fifteen. We can go five more minutes, and uh, and then that'll be that. 
Space 1999, number one, 1975, white pages, the double cover. Super cool book from our childhood. You know, uh, your childhood. I was I'm younger than you, I think, on this. Uh... Not very much, fucker. <laughs> Not very much. Wayne says back to Fan Expo tomorrow. What the hell for? You were there already on Thursday, Wayne. What are you going back for? Two fifty on the space. Two fifty on the space. Uh, Art. Cad Tony wants to know, or Tony Art Chemist wants to know. Do you have a copy of Flash One Two Three? I do. 5.5 and i do as well in a 3.5 i think or a four it was a four it was a four and i pressed it I went do down to three five five in that book box. it's right there in the box but you gonna pop it out or no um i don't art, even know what it's worth right now so let me look art chemist says tony you have some amazing awesome books uh, you art, haven't seen anything <laughs> and the art chemist also says will you be at new york comic-con I will not. I don't go to cons because I spend too much money and it's con pricing. So you're paying 30% more. I'd rather sit at home and buy off, you know, elite comics or other comic sites and short box and even, even eBay. But, um, you know, if I'm going to give somebody an extra 30% just because they set up, I'd rather sit at home and buy an extra comic book for that 30%. You got to remember I don't buy two hundred dollar books. I buy ten thousand dollar books. So thirty percent is a lot of money. Right. That being said, uh, our chemist, I might be going to Comic Con New York. <laughs> I might go. I'm thinking about it. I've always wanted want to go with you. You, you really? Because I, I was thinking, I'm trying to put a a group together to go, but uh, and then my son wants to go now too. So I'm like, oh my gosh, we'll see. But yeah, I'm, I'm, you can come. Yeah, yeah, man. So I mean, we're think I'm thinking about going to con- not not even to buy, just to shoot the shit with people and just check it out and have some New York pizza and you know because I like New York City, it's great. But I've never been, I've never you been go able to. Kevin, I'll go with you, but well, I'll keep you posted. I'll because... just go for the like <clears throat> for the experience more that, than that's that's the way reason I'd be going to uh, you know finding like like <clears throat> like um like Tony's saying finding deals at Fan Expo or New York New York Comic Con or San Diego. There's no deals out there, right? I mean, th- hang on, I'll tell you. There was some deals, um, but it was like, I don't know if you watched Instagram, but Elite did, uh, like Ali from Elite, he did his uh, his show from there, and he was, you know, they were cutting some good deals. So when you're there, it's one thing, but no, I don't know. I don't know, man. If you, I, if, you, I just... if, you, if you're spending lots of money, you can get some deals. I've seen guys go there with wads of cash and, and 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 barter really hard and get some good deals, but I mean, if you're going there to buy one book and it's a, you know, it's overpriced and it's just a one book, a few hundred dollars, you probably won't get a, that great a deal. Art chemist says I got to go to Canada. Then, if you have an eBay, let me know or what. And I don't think he does. If you want to see more of Tony's books, Tony does like to do the Instagram sales. He does them very frequently. So you want to follow Tony no, on? No, I, I didn't. I don't. I don't. Where do you do? It just Facebook? happened that way. I'm going to be doing one in a couple of weeks with another guy, uh, but you know what? I got to slow down. I'm just, I'm burning myself out. Kevin, I'll tell you, I run a really, really fucking busy automotive shop. Yeah. And between eight and five, I'm like, you know, wearing 12 hats a day. So when I come home, I, I, I'm exhausted, man. Yeah. So it's, uh, there's a 123. That's a beautiful, five. that's a nice looking book right there. I don't know what uh, it's worth. I couldn't find it like, because there's so many flash. I forgot the year it's from, so hang on. Um, Flash, you... 1961. So. Wayne says, no de- no deals at cons. I go for my kids. They love it. Giancarlo Esposito photo. T- oh, okay. That's cool. That's why I went to Wayne. My kids wanted to meet that dude from uh, Stranger Things, Joseph Quinn. And they were so excited. It was a lot of fun to watch them meet him. I bought a couple of books, but it was like, you know, I spent, what, 90 bucks and, you know. Uh, the just take last time I went there. This right there. The What's last that? time I went to was a couple of years ago at the uh convention center 123. And uh, I bought a ton of books that I didn't want, like I just bought them because I was there. Just, yeah, that's, that's the and thing. Cool covers, and I'm like, yeah, that's cool. How much? Oh, uh, all right, 5,500, 2,700, 1,900. Like, fuck off. 
It's like if you go to a casino with your friend, you don't want to gamble, but you're there. <laughs> I always, I always compare comic books to gambling and you're there in the casino. You don't want to play the machines. You don't want to play blackjack, but you're, you're sitting there and it's like, Oh, I guess I got to play. I got to wait an hour and a half for him. And you end up dropping God knows how much. Right. Um, most recent sale, 1849. I'll do 1750. 1750 for the Flash, one, two, three, and a five, five. That's a nice book, guys. A great book. I got a. Let's go a few more minutes, Kevin. I got a couple of nice books. I want well, Stavros to see. wants to see your Hulk 180 as well. He keeps asking for that. Oh, one. yeah. Yeah. Well, I got a whole box of Hulk, so. Yeah. Like my. Hang on. Where did I put it? I'm sorry. I had it out today. This one? If you. And then the art chemist says, if you go to New York, let me know. I'll be there Friday and Saturday. Well, you know what? If I go, I'll let everybody know on, on my YouTube channel that I'll be there. And if you want to come by and say hi, it'd be great to see you there. <clears throat> and Ben, are you talking about the Flash 1, 2, 3? Is that the book that he wants to see? No, no, the Hulk 180. Oh, my, look at that thing. Wow, that's nice. I am. What's wrong with that? All right, hang on. 180, 102, 180. Oh, oh. So I got two. Wayne says, I got two second back girl, nice 40 bucks. Yeah, I mean, you get a look. If you dig, you'll find, usually, hopefully. I like to go to the small guys, you know. Oh, there you go. Stavros, that's right up your alley, man. That's a Stavros grade right there. Nice straight cut, not misaligned. Going to be pressed. It looks like it. Let me see the back. It looks like it may have been pressed. It's pretty straight. I'm going to say it's been pressed, but, you know, no, oh, maybe not. There's a little divot there. Kevin, oh, yeah, a little wrinkle there. Has it got yeah, a strap? Kevin. Is it a strap mark on it? I can't tell from here, but no, no, it's not. No, it's straight. Spine's nice. You might get a nine four out of that. That's a nice looking book. What do you want for that tone? I didn't even price it yet. Um, the guys are talking here. Um, and he's a great Corvette. I'm young to afford those big... I'm too young to afford those big boys. I've seen that Corvette. He restored that Corvette completely over the last few years. It's gorgeous. Uh, I got... Okay, I said that already. Stavros, I was a Montreal con. One dealer had books and they were priced crazy. A lot of guys in Toronto did too. But like I was saying, when I go to the Toronto Comic Con, I try to find the small guy. The small guy who's got a box of comics in the corner. Uh, yeah. and, and you just dig through and you find, like I found a couple of little doozies doing that. But if you go to like big B comics or you go to any of the big guys, you know, Harley Yee or, or, or whatever, they're going to be asking top, top, top dollar. And that, you know what? Listen, God bless them. That's yeah, very you know what? I it's expensive. Like you got to understand, this is what these guys do for a living. Yeah. So, you know, it's not like they have jobs like Kevin and I do, or, you know, they, they have to suck every penny out of them as they can because they don't know when their next sale is going to be. Yeah. So I don't blame them for that, but you know, like I mean, I'm not an idiot either. I I like saving money like everybody else. And and I mean, I've done one day shows where I've lugged boxes and shit. Uh, you'll never get me to do a three day show. Like Roy Roy's got tables for next year's Fan Expo, and he's like, Kevin, we should do it together. I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want to do that, man. Three days in that place. It's just a hustle, and I just don't know if I have the energy to do it. Uh, one day I could do, three days. Uh, uh, David says, I wish I was able to visit in person. Pain in the butt crossing the border. No, nah, it's not so bad. David, I went to Buffalo last week. It was, I got back from, I crossed the border in the United States, took like 10 minutes, and coming back took 15 minutes. It was no problem. So I don't know. Um, yeah. So you should come up to Canada. Come up next year, you know, to the Fan Expo. It's fun. David is in Canada. David Val no, no, David Valdez. He's down in Florida, I believe. Oh. Right, Dave? Right, Dave? Florida, I believe it is. Uh, they're, they're all Googling over that uh, Hulk one. Jeff says, how much for the Hulk number one? I won bingo last week. I'll tell you this, Jeff. I know it's restored and people frown upon that. I don't. I could give a shit less. But I will tell you that I turned down 100 grand. You turned you down know. 100 grand for that one? 
I've turned down a hundred grand three times from okay. three different people. All right, there you go, Jeff. Ben, I've gotten lots of deals from Big B. Harley Yee, LOL, does he ever sell anything? <laughs> yeah, I know, eh? I never see him sell anything. Uh, yeah, Big B used to have those $5 bins, man. They didn't have it this year. I, I went right, I beelined it right for his booth, and there were no $5 bins. I was like, oh, it sucks. I always used to have so much fun finding stuff. I found all of my first appearance of Hercules. I had like three or four copies he had there. They're like, like fours, fives. Got them all for five bucks each from Big B a few years ago. That's a nice 180, man. Um, Chuck Casey's 2750 Stavros. 2750 USD or best offer? Of or course. Very close best offer. All right. For 2750 or best offer for the Hulk 180 and a 94. 92. Uh, 92. 92. Sorry. Um Chuck's here. How you doing, Chuck? Art Chemist says, Comic Doctor, if you go to Comic Con, check out the Country Yard by Marriott New York Hotel. A great place, walking distance to the con. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure that out. Because the, the you guys con want to see a great book. Sure. We always do. I mean, it's a modern. It's in my Hulk box. And when you see it, you'll understand why. I think it is anyway. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh no, that's not it. It's not in my health box. Where is it? Oh, stretching my back out. Oh. Hmm. I don't know where it is. What was it? Oh, I'm gonna show you. The price Stavros was twenty seven fifty. Uh US or best offer on that book nine point two. But Tony is in a very good mood today. And I think not, really, actually. not in a very good mood at all. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not negative. I'm in a good mood. Uh, negative zone makes a good comment he says those big guys have massive overhead too huge tables and has to pay employees Absolutely. damn right and it's a yeah. and it's a pain in the ass guys i'm telling you i've been there done it and the worst thing is and i used to when i do the one day shows i'd price my my stuff very competitively and i'd still get guys offer me like 70 percent off what i was you know i was like come on off key books so it's it's a bit of a hassle i just don't want to bother with it um, Wayne, you guys yeah. all have too much money. I wish I had your hustle. What I tell people, Wayne, I tell Tony all the time, if I had Tony's money, I'd burn mine. Oh, you had what? Tony's money. <laughs> you wouldn't be living in that big house, I can tell oh, you. Oh, yeah, <laughs> my big house. I've been to your house, Tony, and uh, yeah, I'm not going to say <laughs> anything, but it's pretty big, too. <laughs> um, uh, Wayne. So, I don't even think I want to sell it, but I'll show you because it's just such a great book. So, it's Ultimate Spider-Man 160. It's, uh, I'm going to call it the Conquasal variant. It's a Kid okay. Casada variant. But look at this book, man. So, when I bought this book, I was told that this is the crossover from Stan Lee to Miles Morales. Isn't that beautiful? Is that Uncle Ben? I have no idea. You did good, I, kid. I, yeah, I think it's Uncle Ben. Yeah, it's Uncle Ben. Yeah. But isn't it fucking awesome? That's a pretty book. I love this book, man. I absolutely love this book. Love it. How much you want for it? I don't want <laughs> I, I don't want <laughs> Um, Stavro says the last eBay sale on that Hulk 180 that he could find was 2472 US. What's it worth right now? Uh, I don't know. You got to check the GP. Do you have, you have GP, right? Yeah, that's what I've been looking yeah. at. Uh, Wayne says, Did you buy any of those fan expo exclusive comics? I don't, I, I don't buy, buy them. I don't, I don't buy modern stuff, uh, Wayne. I just don't bother with it. I just don't. I mean, unless there's something really. Like when I buy an Ultimate Fallout Four, would I put one in my collection or, or first Harlequin? Yeah, I, I would, but I, I don't go out seeking that stuff. And those exclusive things—that's one of the reasons why I got out of buying new comics in the first place. Yeah. All this stupid variant baloney. Um, Davis, exactly. I don't, 
Oh, Davis, I don't have a passport, Kevin. I remember when all you needed was a driver's license. I drove to Canada with no problem back in the day. I think now, for me, maybe Tony can confirm this, because uh, my son's passport wasn't ready. It did come in time for us to go to Buffalo, but I believe Canadians can go into the United States by car with just birth certificates and a driver's license. You don't need a passport. So. Pardon me? I don't think you can now, Bill. Really? I'm Look not in- sure, but I, like, you know, like, top of my head says no. No, maybe. Well, I, I thought with a birth certificate, you're okay. Again, you have to check that. But, you know, a passport, whatever. It's, it's just handy to have anyways. Um, yeah, you should have a passport. Just I get mean, a passport. You know, how hard is it? You know, you, you, it's fun to travel through. Canada's a fun... I mean, for you, for Americans, coming up here is a bargain. Um, oh, yeah. Just remember, it, you got, you know, they, you're $30, 30% on every dollar, right? Yeah, man. There were a lot of Americans at Fan Expo, and they were very happy. I know that. They were oh, yeah. picking up stuff and, you know, loving it. Because it's all Canadian, right? Uh, especially when you have like bulk books for twenty dollars Canadian. Yeah. In the in the states, those are twenty dollars US, right? So, anyways. Uh, um, Stav- August twenty first, he part. said. Uh, August twenty first, one sold for twenty four seventy two. Uh, James says passport is needed. Okay, thanks for clearing that up, James. Uh, kids' birth certificate will work, perhaps. You're in New Hampshire. Stavros, I would do twenty five hundred on a Stavros, but that's it. Otherwise, I'll just keep it. I don't care. Stavros, so 90, he's saying right? twenty five hundred. He would do on that. Oh, that's a that's a great book. Crime Isn't women, it great. Mm-hmm. Crimes by women, number four. Black cat collection, four point oh off white to white. Eight hundred bucks. That's a nice. It's a classic cover Got too. A right? nice date stamp on it. I love the date stamp. I like man. the date stamps too. I started that whole craze. It was you, was Everybody it? Everybody was like, ooh, date stamps. I'm like, I love them. And I was, you know, buying and selling on Elite. And, and now Lee started, like, he's like, yeah, they are kind of cool. And I was like, yeah, look at them. And then all of a sudden, everybody loves the date stamp. Uh, Stavros says he has two passports. And Stavros, so do I. That's my Maltese passport. I have that as well. Uh, so I have two passports also. The, the, the European Union ones are good for a whole 10 years. Um, well, that's a cool book. That's a good Love price. It. Yeah, that's nice. 9.8, 400. Variant, 463 uh, out of 3,000. Nice. Uh, uh, 400 bucks. What's the page quality on your on your Hulk 180? I don't know. I put it away. Here's uh, the other Christopher variant for 250. Oops. I bought them because I thought they were cool. They look good together. They do. That whole, that yeah, whole no, series. That Phoenix cover is really nice that he does. 180 is... I think it was off-white pages, wasn't it? Off-white to white. Off-white to white, Stavros. I love those date stamps, too. Um, Tom says, do they hit you with duty at the border on comic books? Now, that's that's a pretty fun... Look, at I think... That's a, the... that's a hot topic, man. Well... <laughs> okay, if you're driving back, okay, for the United States... Uh, and you spent say two or three days in the U S I think each person. So one, an individual person can buy up to $800. I think it is per day, I believe. Um, so if you buy comics and you're there for a couple of days, you should be fine. Now, now, um, I went once to, uh, there's a, there's a flea market out in Clarence, uh, New York that I like to go to. And I used to go there and buy all kinds of antiques and old stuff. And I go and drop in one morning, I drive over the border. I go there. I drop five, six, seven hundred dollars, and buy some clothes, or whatever. And I drive back, and I come over the border. Actually, once I bought some toys from a lady too in Buffalo. I spent another seven, eight hundred dollars. So in one day, and I was driving back, and they said, "What are you declaring?" I said, "Well, I got some stuff from you know Walmart. I had some food, and I have uh, some these this stuff I bought from the flea market, just some used stuff." And they just looked at me. I go on. They didn't even care because it was used. They didn't give a shit. So, but I mean. Could they be sticky? I, I bought a Mustang once from um, from uh, uh, North, uh, Winston-Salem, North Carolina. I drove all the way down there in a 24-hour period, picked up the Mustang, 68, it was a 69 Mustang, drove it all the way back, got to the border. Uh, he asked how much you pay for it. I said, I pay, you know, X amount of dollars. And then he said, if you're lying, we're going to impound the car. 
and the whole nine yards. And of course, I was not lying. It's what I paid for. You could call the guy. You could check our bank statements, and they let me go. But but they're very sticky on big purchases, yeah. obviously, right? So it all depends. It all depends. So I bought. I'll tell you my story with Canada Border Patrol. Um, I mean, I've had those car stories all along, but those are the easy ones. Mm-hmm. I bought an Avengers one off of a guy, and uh, it was a married. It had a married page, and I um, I bought it for forty five hundred dollars. It was a five five or a six zero. Oh. Some guy at customs. Like my guy declared it as a thousand dollars, put a bill of sale in there for a thousand dollars. My guy, uh, or the guy at customs, opened the book, clearly had no idea who oh. was looking at it, went to eBay and charged me tax on seventeen thousand dollars. Oh, that's bull crap. What he and I know, and I disputed it. He, he what he did is he took the price of the book with eBay was like twelve or thirteen grand. He converted it to Canadian, and then he added oh, the charging the thirteen percent tax. Yeah, bull crap. So I paid thousands of dollars of tax on this book. It drove me fucking crazy to pay it, but I didn't have a choice. And then when I disputed it, and I sent notifications, I sent pictures of GPA saying, you know, one with a married book uh, page is it worth this much? Blah 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 blah. They sent it back and said documentation invalid. So they didn't even know how to read it, and rather than read it and say, okay, we fucked up. They just said, fuck you, you're paying the tax. And I have to pay the tax. Wow. That's yeah. bull crap. That's bull crap. Yeah. So, you know what? Yeah, it's not worth it, really, you know? No. That was right. Just pay it and shut up. Yeah. That's the beauty about living in Canada. You get to, you know, pay a bunch of tax. Oh, lots of tax. Uh, Tom Lennox says, I live in Buffalo. Where is Clarence? Where in Clarence? Clarence is a, on Main Street. And Clarence was a huge flea market. I was there last uh, Sunday and it was dead. It was rained a little bit last Sunday, and people didn't come out. Uh, the best day to go to Clarence, though, uh, Tony, this is a great, great flea market, is uh, the first Sunday of every month. I think the last one's going to be in September. And what's beautiful about it is they have this thing called the Great American uh, Yard Sale, and they rent out tables. And so people from all around bring their, they fill their vans with junk and around their house. They come and they set up a yard sale. So you got like 150 yard sales. Right there. Oh, it's amazing. And you find all sorts of goodies. Um, you know, I bought some comics there. Yeah, I always find something there. Um, so I'm San- going to put this book up, try and sell it. If it doesn't sell, it's coming to you. Okay. World's Finest 21, 1946 and a 4 5. So you see what's wrong with it, Kevin? See the wrinkle? Yeah. Like the, it- the spine, the square bound spine is really nice. It's got a spine roll a little bit. You can straighten that out, I know. On a square bound, might be on might, back. might be hard. Yeah, okay. But I mean, I think we can get a six zero out of this five five six zero. Anyway, it's cheap at four hundred bucks. Oh wow! If it doesn't sell. It's going to Kevin. World's finest in a four point five. Yep, number twenty one. 1946, so early, early, early world's finest book. Sam's asking about your uh, your awesome red racks, which I believe you bought from Roy. No, I bought that off out of, from a yard sale for twenty dollars. Really? Okay. Yeah. Because Roy had the exact same ones in our shop for a long time. Did he have a yard sale? Mm, I don't remember. I think he sold it right from the How shop. About this? Lawbreaker suspense stories. This is a very iconic cover, classic severed tongue cover. So she's trying, but somebody else pointed this out the other day. He's got the tongue in his hand, his blood dripping on the floor. She got no fucking blood anywhere, and it's her tongue. <laughs> What's going on with that? I've seen that one before, yeah. I, I think Dennis dropped the ball. 7500 her best offer. Wow. It's Woo. cheap. Price one. Go ahead. Stavro oh, said Stavro says Tony, would you do three payments of twenty four hundred? So he wants to do payments and he wants to deal. Mm, yeah. What what book are we talking about here? One eighty. Oh. How much is a one eighty going for? Twenty five hundred. This is the last sale. It's up higher now. Oh, so th- so divide the twenty twenty four hundred into three payments. 
Somebody asked about EC. This is the only one I have for sale. I have a whole box full of EC. Kevin will tell you I collect ECs, nine six, nine eight. And here you Double have a one. Double cover ECs. That is a great book. I just bought this book in a 3.5. It's a super hard book to get in a, in a decent grade. So when this one came up, I snapped it up because I hadn't seen it for sale in so long. And then like six months later, the 3.5 came up for a lot more money. And I thought, fuck, I don't get it. I don't know if I ever will. So I got 9.50 on that. Sam, do you need a rack for the, the Toronto comic book show? Um, then I got Blue Beetle. Uh-oh. Number 55. I have the Blue Beetle other one, too. <laughs> oh, I knew you were going to say that. Mm-hmm. Here's number 55. This has got a topless woman panel inside. Super iconic. I don't even know how much I had on this because the sticker fell off. No. Uh, 700 bucks on this. Okay. Look at the tits. Easy. It's a family show. Well, everybody has tits. I got some. You want to see them? No. God, no. God, everybody no. has tits, Kevin. Come on. But they're not called that. They're, you know, they're called, uh, you know. Um... Tits. Okay. All right. I'm, too ti- I'm too tired to fight you on it. <laughs> whoops sorry sam sorry, sorry. i can i can if you're got if you're up against the wall sam i can give you some advice on how to make some racks pretty cheaply oh another another one a eh? um pedigree book this is edgar church mile high real clue crime stories volume four number five in an 8.0 so incidentally a lot of people don't know this that's how you tell it's a pedigree right like the- that's the beginning. There's obviously stuff inside too, but that's what you need to look for. Whenever you have writing like date writing like that on it with a signature, you know it's generally a pedigree book. Hmm. I bought books before that with that on it, and I thought, hmm, I wonder what that is, and sent them in, and they come back pedigree. Is that right? They recognize it. Oh right? yeah. Oh, absolutely. Uh, this book is six hundred bucks. Nice pedigree book. Yeah. I love those pedigree. I love that. I love that label too. I love it. I think the new one, like this this bronze one that they made, I think it's absolutely stunning. So the black one used to be the pedigree, and they changed it to gold? It was black and gray, kind of, yeah. And then when the Promise Collection came out, they tried to make uh, the Promise Collection stand out. So they changed the label to look like that. And then everybody just liked that label so much more, they started changing them all over. Nice. That's a cool-looking label. I actually, I didn't hear. I saw a picture the other day somebody sent me. CBCS is going to a four color label now. So yes. they're doing red, blue, orange, and something else. Like, so, you know, their, their label is going to change, which their slab is, I mean, I love the CGC slab. Don't get me wrong, but the new CBCS slab is far superior than the CGC slab. You can twist that book. I'm a pretty strong dude and I can't twist one and break it. Yeah. So they're a better looking slab. It's just they got that. Sh- Here's one right here, actually. I hate their labels. They're so boring. They got that shitty, shitty label. You know, that's a good book, actually. Still the shitty label. So yeah. apparently, these are going to be colored now. Which you know what would would really pull me back to CBCS if that happened. But like, look at this book. I'm twisting. Yeah. Come on, you it's can do it. It's not moving. Uh, comic Collector Geek says, how much is the Slave comic? Um, Slave Girl is twenty-seven fifty. I had three grand on it, but I'll lower it down twenty-seven fifty. Are you sure? I thought you had thirty-five on it. Did I? Hang on. Oh yeah, careful. I th- I might be wrong, but I have written down here thirty-five. Unless I heard you wrong, it's an eight point zero, right? Oh. What? Shit. 3500 but in all fairness, I will lower it down to 3000 but that's it. See, this is pointing, to, I think this might come back a pedigree. Like that sort of thing, eh? Okay. That sort of thing, generally it's in the middle, but that sort of thing makes me think that this may come back a pedigree book. 
The art chemist says to Tony, didn't you hear that they lost 300 plus books? Um, CBCS. No way. Oh yeah, they did lives of bells all over the, all over Facebook. They lost three hundred and forty two bucks or something like that. Um, I didn't go to Facebook anymore, but that's yeah. why you have insurance, right? So yeah, this is I another think... thing people try to do. They send a book in, they don't want it to go to the the, the higher tier, so they price it low. Well, then they lose three hundred forty two books, and you just fucked yourself. Yeah, just but that's ten bucks, you know, like. You know, their response was was actually okay. They say, you know, we're running a business here and mistakes happen. We're getting to the bottom of it. We'll figure it out and we're wow. gonna make every, and we're gonna make everybody happy. And in the end, in the end, that's all you really can do. You know, if the books were stolen or if the books vanished. But I'll tell you, like I said, if you guys watch my unboxings, you saw me. I opened up two box two books that did not belong to me. They belonged to some <laughs> guy. Yes. No, CGC sent me, and then I heard uh, from my other, another uh, um, associate of mine, that something similar had happened to him, and then, um, and then uh, Paul uh, has been sending me these videos on YouTube that other people have been getting, dealers have been getting books, is mi books mixed up in their in their orders. So unless that person happens to be uh, super honest, your books are gone. Like gone. I sent the one, I sent them back because I'm I'm a really nice guy, but you know. Um, some people won't, <laughs> right? So you got, but but mistakes happen. As long as the companies are willing to pay for those books, should something go wrong, then you know it is what it is. And you know when you send your books out, whether you send them to me to ship out for you or to any or your local comic store or to whoever, there's always always that chance, as slight as it might be, you know something could happen. The FedEx truck could go off the road, or God forbid, or something terrible could happen. I mean, you never know, right? So um, I have a book here I want to show you. Yeah, of course. I don't know where I put it. But something happened last time, and I just want to make sure. <laughs> Sam says, I think the new labels will make it easier for CBCS to find our books when they lose them. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of scary, actually. You know? Why are anyway, it, it was um, 367 right books. So here it is right here. So this is not really a comic. It's an assembly instruction booklet for. Uh, well, that's cool. Um, um, yeah. For a that model kit. Ten. I sent that in as a ten. To CGC. Two weeks ago, this went in for a reslabbing because it had the old slab. It was a ten. Oh bullshit. Yep. So I have to call them on it. I wasn't sure. So I, I when I first opened it, I thought, man, I thought that was a ten, and let it go. And then I found the picture. It's a fucking ten. I don't know why that got regraded. Oh, they have the right. They they tell you uh, when you send books in. I had a client of mine, Adam, uh, picked up his Iron Man number one today. It was a nine point four, and he was very nervous. He said, "I don't want it to drop in grade," and and that's the case, Tony. Once you send a book back to them and it's in their hands, they have the right if they feel. But it's not, I didn't send it for grading. I sent it for reslabbing. It, it makes no difference if they feel if they want to review the book and, they, and you sign off on that. That they can regrade it should they should they feel the book needs to be looked at again. So having a ten put a big uh, bullseye on your back, and they say, "Oh, we're gonna." You probably shouldn't have sent it in for a reslab in retrospect, because yeah. And there you go, guys. Look what happens, right? You send it in for a reslab, and then you pay the fifty bucks or whatever for this reslab, and they they they, they lose two thousand dollars because they, they lowered the grade. Screaming, no. uh, I think I would too. You know, still gonna call them and bitch. It's that's not that's bullshit, man. Like I didn't buy it as a nine nine. I paid ten point zero pricing. Who are they to decide? Now, Tony, you didn't. You never an, did answer Stavros about the three payments on twenty four hundred. Oh yeah, I'll do that. No problem. You'll do that. I guess. So Stavros, that means that you are now the proud owner of a Hulk one eighty and a nine point two, two, right? Yeah, I think it's nine two. Yeah, nine two. Okay, Stav, that cool. All right, so that's another one gone. Dav Hulk one oh. Yeah, so uh, I didn't know that. You know, I'm gonna be really cautious on what I do from now on. Then. Yeah, yeah. Because I like the new labels that are the new slabs. So yeah, when I get the old ones, I just send them in. I don't even think about it. And you know what? They may have done it to other books that I didn't even think about. Generally speaking, I tell people that if your slabs are in good shape, you just want to upgrade the slab. It's usually not, they're not going to change the grade. But if your slab has been damaged, then they might think, okay, the book, the, the slab was damaged. We probably got to re the look at this book. And that makes sense, right? But if the book no, is. No, the books. I my know. slabs are perfect. They're not cracked. Or that's, anything. They're that's, just, 
that's what I mean. That's why I think that was ridiculous that they did that to you. But what do I know? Um, wow, that's shitty, man. Stavros wants to know how resistant that CBCS slab is if you throw it against the wall. Want to give that a shot? No. <laughs> Once he wants to buy it, then I'll do it. There you go. Uh, it's Stavros that I was nervous with my ASM 194 re-slab. So was I. Tom Lennox, 367 books seems like a lot of books to lose. It does. I I'm sure they'll figure it out. I actually think if I threw that book against the wall, I mean, not at 100 miles an hour, but... Oh, I'm sure. Of course, it's plastic, right? I, I bet you if I just tossed it, it wouldn't crack. I mean, they're fucking strong. Oh my God! They this are is, really you, superior slabs. Wait, wait, it's you, just the ugly labels. You wait. We wait to hear this. This one comment. Uh, Stavros says, "Thank you." By the way, he's going to contact you and IG for payment. Wire That's Wire Anchor says they were supposedly letting graders take books home with them to grade. Come on! Oh my really? God! If that if that's true. That's disgusting. I am, I'm, in, I'm, I'm in the same city as Kevin. We nice. actually live about eight minutes apart. Yeah. If it's even long. Yeah. Now I can say, yeah, Stavro says, now I can say I have the first appearance. Congratulations. And a nice high grade copy as well. Tom Lennox says, whip it. And whip it good. The art chemist, Tony, are you in Canada? We already mentioned, answered that one as well. Yeah. And guys, again, I mean, so what do you think, Tony? We're at the, I think, we're, uh, we're at the end here. Nobody's going to need to buy, and I'm tired. Yeah, me and, too. Uh, you're tired. And uh, you know what? It's been fun. Thank you very much, guys. Yeah, and uh, Tony, thank you again, Appreciate guys. Everybody who bought. Appreciate everybody who came by just to visit and bullshit. <laughs> so you you wrote down everything that you sold? You got everything? I have people, uh, like I wrote it on the, on the slabs. I got to take some photos before I forget yeah, good. Then he's going to message me and I'm going to say, who are you? All no, right. No beer. Sorry, no English. Sorry, no speak English. Uh, Stavros, I dropped the CGC slab three feet and it's completely cracked. Of course, that's the way it goes. All right, Tony. You know what? Um, I dropped what's... the CGC slab from like two feet off the ground and they shatter. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, Tom Lennox says, anybody buy the X-Men 49? No, no one has bought it. Were you interested in, in looking at there. that? Make me an offer, Tom Lennox. Hey, he, Lee, what's up? You know Tom Lennox? What's that? You know Tom? I do not. You do not, neither do I. Lee, welcome, my friend. Awesome books, Tony, he says. Stavros sold some good books tonight, 5K+. plus. Yeah, it's all right. I mean, hey, nothing wrong with that for a couple hours work. Guys, again, my whole point of this is I'd like oh, to... Oh, really? What's that? Stavros is comic craving addict. Yes, I think yeah. so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. So, don't I have books for you already, or did I already ship them out? Uh, that I don't know. Um, Tom Lennox said he will contact you about a possible trade for the X Men Forty Nine. I think so. He'll contact you on IG. So, guy, guys, if you want to get a hold of Tony, find him on Instagram. It's Ietsy Tony. Um, and he's got a little Corvette as his icon. Go there, follow him. He's always happy to uh, talk comics. So if you have anything you want to buy, I'm sure he'll give you yeah. a great deal. Okay, Tony, thanks so much. Uh, I'll thanks let you go. Yeah, I know. Yeah, thank you. And um, uh, if you want to pick up these two books tomorrow, it's got to be really early because I have to go away for a day tomorrow. So, you know uh, what? what? I might come pick them up tonight if you're up. <sighs> like right now. I'm just so I'm going to go yeah, to bed. Yeah, like, as soon as we hang up here, I'm just going to go up and get a drink anyway. Yeah, if you come over right now, I'll give them to you. All well, right? Just make sure you have your pants on. Actually, Not like I, last time. Yeah, I, I did, yeah. well, hey, you got to be comfortable. Thanks a lot, Tony. We'll see you later. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. You got it. All right, guys. That was uh, Tony. And um, I thought it was all right. We had a lot of people here today, which was great. Almost 50 people on, uh, on, the, uh, on the online, which was great. And uh, I sold a few books. Again, my intention for this is to give people an opportunity to sell their books, their own books, showcase them here, and uh, sell them directly to each other, to you know, to, to the community. I think it's a good idea. I will try it again maybe in a week or so. We'll see if uh, maybe Roy wants to come on here or, or Blade Man Steve or, or Brian. And I, again, I'm going to use local guys first, uh, guys that I know. And then if, it, if we can start getting some momentum, 
then I will try to uh, uh, try to uh, bring in some of you guys on here live as well, too. I hope you like that. All right. Um, let's see. Some people are saying, uh, staff saying, thanks, Tony. Kevin, no problem. Good night. I'll buy David. Tony, cool show, guys. You're welcome. Enough said. Good show. Tom, will there be a next one and when? Uh, I will. Uh, you know what, uh, Tom? Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook. And you know what? Subscribe. You are subscribed, so you'll find out. Just just keep on to social media. I'm not, I can't, I'm not going to say exactly what I got to talk to the guys first. Oh, I'm, I'm happy to do one next Saturday again if, if I can find someone who wants to do it. Uh, Comic Collector Geek, thanks. The book was a bit too high for me. Comic Collector, me too. <laughs> There's a few books I wanted to buy. I couldn't afford it for crying out loud. But Tony's got some uh, high value, nice books. Let me tell you. Uh, I would love to sell this Avengers number eight. Well, we'll figure that out. Hope it helped grow the channel also. I'm not sure. I haven't seen what number the channel's at now. Anyways, guys, I am pretty tired. Thanks so much. Again, if you have subscribed, thank you so much. I'll be back eh, probably midweek. Uh, with some more unboxings. I got some books coming back from CGC as we speak. They're supposed to arrive, I think, Tuesday. And uh, I'll do an unboxing shortly thereafter. And of course, another episode of What's in the Press. Until next time, have a great day. Have a great weekend. And see you soon. All the best. Bye now. Trying to find my end. There it is. <laughs> see you guys. <laughs>